I did a thing yesterday that I'm actually kind of nervous about, but also kind of excited about, and is probably something I should discuss on my other channel, like my health and fitness channel, but it's kind of more vlog worthy. It's like a combination, like I don't know where to put it, so I'm just gonna put it here. I'm heating up some soup for lunch. <laughs> actually, I feel like I should put this somewhere else. Wow, there's like nowhere good I can put this camera right now. How about in this cupboard? So you guys are chilling up with the mugs right now. So yesterday, I kind of had like an epiphany. Then I had an epiphany. Really? Yeah. The internet was out yesterday. I couldn't do anything. And so I went to the gym kind of earlier than I normally do, which ended up being a really good choice because I, it was such an efficient workout. I felt so proud of myself. I got in there, I did like hip thrusts, I did deadlifts. I did like incline dumbbell, like shoulder presses. I did, I did lots of stuff. And I, I went from like one exercise to another, to another really efficiently. I like totally was super efficient with my workout yesterday. And then I finished it with like 15 minutes on the stair climber at I think like level five or something like that. I don't know, everybody's stair climbers are different, but mine said level five. I was so proud of myself. I ended up burning like something like 500 calories, which is pretty good for a workout. I felt awesome. By the time I got home, my internet was back up. I did something that I'm equal parts excited about, kind of nervous about, a little bit anxious about, and it's probably gonna seem like really silly when I say it. Why, am, why is my face so red? I'm just gonna hold this, you know what? We're getting into that time of year, it's officially April now, where it's starting to warm up here. It's going to get hot pretty soon. One of my goals is to be able to enjoy the summertime, go on vacations, and wear a bikini. Okay, and I know this might not sound like anything like super big or anything like that, but anyway, in my entire life, I have worn a bikini in public, I think a grand total of about three or four times. And I think every single one of those three or four times was when I was traveling and I only did it because I would never see those people again. I remember specifically I was traveling in Iceland and I went into a one of those geothermal pools, one of those really incredible hot springs that are just everywhere in Iceland. It was the same one in the American Express commercial and I was really excited about it because it was absolutely gorgeous. And I wore a bikini and one of the reasons why I felt comfortable and confident enough to wear a bikini then was because I knew that every single person there in the geothermal like hot springs Aside from my two friends that were also there, I would never see them again. And I would never have to worry about like, oh my gosh, what are they thinking about my body? I, I know that they're probably cringing. Oh my gosh, how can she be in like a bikini? And that is like seriously how I convinced myself to wear a bikini. And looking back on that now, I realize how messed up that kind of was. And so yesterday when I came home from the gym, I was feeling really confident, I was feeling really strong and like proud of myself and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go buy a bikini because the one bikini I have right now, I only have one, it fits horribly. <laughs> it's not a good fit, it was like a cheap one that I got from Target, I think something seriously like four years ago or something like that. Check it out, my soup's done. Oh, it looks so good. So the bikini like bottoms especially that I have right now are, they have that diaper effect going on where it's just like not tight in the right spots but also really baggy in all the wrong spots and it's just like really bad. And so yesterday I came home from the gym and I was like, I'm gonna buy a bikini. I'm gonna buy a nice bikini. I'm gonna buy a bikini that I actually want to wear, I'm going to invest in one that's a little bit more expensive than I've ever, like, uh, bikinis that I've bought in the past, and one that I'm excited to wear, like, in real life, like, in, in front of other people in public, regardless of what my body is gonna look like during the summertime, because I, I've been going to the gym a lot, especially in the past few months. Ever since, really, Blake was deployed, I've been pretty consistently going to the gym. Once he got back from the gym, I kind of took like a break for a little bit just because I wanted to spend time with Blake and it's been a little bit more challenging getting back into that gym routine together because his schedules is a little bit more all over the place than mine and our goals are a little bit different and so it's been a little bit more challenging since he's been home to go to the gym but I've been doing really really well lately I'm really proud of myself and I'm anticipating knock on wood that my body will be in a place where I feel more confident about it 
during the summertime anyway. But I almost know for a fact that knowing me, knowing I think anybody, it's not, it's never perfect enough. It's never going to feel perfect enough. And I kind of had a moment last night, I had an epiphany where I was like, I don't care if it's perfect enough. I don't care what my body looks like. I really don't care because I live in Las Vegas. It's going to be so hot during the summertime and I don't care what my body looks like. I don't care what people's opinions of my body are gonna be because I want to wear a bikini. I want to feel cool, like physically, literally cool. And so I had this epiphany last night where I'm like, I'm doing it. I'm just gonna buy a bikini. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna wear it when it comes. So I bought this bikini last night. I'm really excited about it. I don't even know when it's supposed to get here. I don't know when the first time is gonna be that I'm gonna wear it. But on the note of confidence, this year is the year I've decided of being confident in myself, no matter how my body looks to other people or to myself, I'm gonna rock it. I don't care. I'm gonna have fun with it no matter what anyway. So I'm challenging all of you who are kind of in a similar boat where maybe you've never felt confident in your own skin. Maybe you've never felt confident in your body. Maybe, maybe this year is the year where we can all be in the boat of I don't care together and we're gonna rock it no matter what anyway. How's that sound? I think it'll be a good change for everybody out there. I realize I look like I'm wearing the exact same outfit as the previous section of this vlog, but I swear I did the laundry. The previous section of that vlog was, I think two days ago. And I've done the laundry since then. So a while back, I was at Costco and I bought steel cut oats when I meant to buy rolled oats. So now we have this ginormous thing of steel cut oats. Hardy steel cut texture. Yeah, totally did not even see that when I bought this. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the difference between rolled oats and steel cut oats, basically steel cut oats are kind of like long cylindrical kind of nuggets, whereas rolled oats are kind of flat and therefore rolled oats cook a lot more quickly than steel cut oats. And so I was like, okay, how am I gonna <laughs> get through all of these oats? Well, I decided to try out overnight oats. I've never made overnight oats before in my life. It actually looks so good. I didn't use a recipe of any sort. I kind of just threw it together. So in here we have almond milk, chia seeds, blueberries, and steel cut oats. I think I used a third of a cup of steel cut oats, two thirds of a cup of almond milk, vanilla, unsweetened almond milk, a tablespoon of chia seeds, and a third of a cup of frozen blueberries. And I just threw it all together in this like container and mixed it all up and let it sit overnight. And this is like the product. This is how it looks now. So I'm gonna give it a try. This is like my lunch today. I have no idea how it tastes. I also have no idea if you're supposed to eat this cold or hot. I'm gonna make a Twitter poll or I'm just gonna go on Twitter and ask. There's also no sweetener in this, and I like my oats like regular to be a tiny bit sweet, so I think what I'm gonna do, I wish I had like a Truvia packet. Do we have like a little thing of Truvia? I'm just gonna throw one Truvia packet in there too and like mix it all up just to give it a little sweetness. This was like the best answer. <laughs> yes, D, all of the above. Thank you so much, Haley, for your input because I actually think I'm gonna do that. So I'm going to heat up like half of it and then half of it I'm gonna eat cold and we're gonna see what we like better, maybe. All right, it's heating up. We're gonna see how it is. But in the meantime, while that's heating up, I'm actually going to have a couple spoonfuls of this and see if it's good. That's pretty good. I just look like it's got a lot. Ooh, that's good. Especially the blueberries. Blueberries were a good choice. Here's the hot kind. Let's see how this one is. Still good. You know, I actually think I like it cold better because I keep biting into these blueberries and they like explode in heat in my mouth. Kind of like when you bite into a Hot Pocket and it's either glacially cold and icy on the inside or like boiling lava hot. There's like no in between. That one was hot. Ooh. Hi kitty. How are you doing? Are you still sneezing? She's been sneezing 
a ton the past like two days. I think she got like something in her nose or something like that, or it might even be allergies because the pollen count in Vegas apparently is really high. So this one's been kind of like- Sneezing as well? Yeah. Yeah, it's al allergies are ridiculous here. Did, yeah. I showed you the pollen forecast, didn't mm -hmm. I? It's like almost max, like yeah. the whole week. It's like ridiculous. It's crazy. This one might have like some allergies or something because she, she's been sneezing a ton, but she doesn't have any discharge from her eyes or her nose or anything like that. And she's acting totally fine. So- If anything, she's eating more than normal. Yeah. Like she's kind of a little pig. Yeah, she is. But I'm gonna go show you guys a couple things I finally got in the mail. I don't know if you can see it. The Tacoma right here, see the T-A- C O M A is down there. You can't really see it that well. On the the tailgate, it's indented into the sheet metal. And so I got these like vinyl stickers, like black stickers that go into the indent to make the Tacoma like pop out. So I put those in, I think it looks really good. I'll try and show you guys later when the truck like has room. The other thing I got from them was this really cool, these American flag decals, which I put on here under the rear or the side view mirrors. I also debadged the car as well. Like the, the, normally there's a big chrome Tacoma right here on this side and on the other side too. Um, but I took those off because the chrome, like I just, I don't really need the chrome on there. I think it looks better without it. Especially since it's gonna be like kind of a black and white concept. I think it looks really good like that. So I got this American flag decal on this side. There's one on the other side too. And here, kind of hard to see. Right there, there's some white stickers. Like normally where it says Tacoma, um, it's also indented into the uh, glove box. And so I got some white stickers as well to put inside of the indents. I think it looks, you know, kind of cool. That's pretty much my update. The next thing I want to get, um, oh, here's the, uh, the TRD side markers, which are still holding up really well and they look really good. The next thing I want to get is a new grill because this one is all chrome pretty much. And it just, Kind of, it's too much chrome for me, I think. So there's this really cool grill that I want to get. It's like metal basically, but it's in, it's like kind of recessed. In the middle of it, it has like indented in it. It says Tacoma or uh, Toyota. There's a Tacoma up at Crete that I saw the other day that actually has the grill and it looks really good. I'm thinking also I might get rid of these. Can't really see the side of the sticker. You see it in the reflecting kind of. They're just vinyl stickers that are on here. I might get rid of those and get a different type that like is similar, but it might just say like TRD something. I don't know, but it, it, I might get something that gets rid of the red just so there's like, it's like, it's gonna be like a matte kind of color or black. I don't know yet. We'll see, but those are my uh, kind of plans for the truck. This thing has been awesome. I love this thing. Um, I love driving it. I hit 3,000 miles on it today on my way to work. It's been a quick 3,000 miles, but it's been an awesome 3,000 miles because we've gone everywhere with it. It's been awesome. I really, I really love this truck. Alrighty guys, I am in my jammies. I am like so cozy and comfortable. I had such a good day at the gym. I had such, just a good day in general and it's Friday, so you can't really beat that. I'm actually about to go cook dinner because I haven't eaten dinner yet and I'm super hungry. So I'm gonna go do that. Before I forget, a couple of you guys have been asking where where Blake has gotten the decals for the truck. I think there's a couple places or there might just be one. I'm not really sure. But the point is the links are in the description bar below if you want to check those out yourself. Because a couple of you have asked and I've been really bad about responding with where he's gotten them. Because honestly, I haven't known <laughs> but they'll be there if you want to go check those out for today's question of the day have you ever tried overnight oats do you like them cold or do you like them hot and bonus give me your favorite overnight oats recipe because i foresee me having kind of an addiction and i need you to feed that addiction <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you next time bye